All right, uh, it's a new year. I hope you've all had a, a good year. And uh, I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. And uh, I was up in Kentucky seeing my son uh, during this time. And uh, it was a, I got to see my grandchildren. So that was a, a wonderful thing. And um, although there still is a lot of issues, of course, in a divorce, there always is in such a way. And y'all pray for my son. His name is Matthew. He is, um, uh, he is a government employee. He's a federal prison guard. So he is being affected also. Besides all this, he's being affected by the uh, shutdown that they have going on right now. And... Uh, so, please pray for him. It's a lot of stress on him right now with, um, with all this going on. Anyway, I thought for the new year we would, um, we would do a little bit different type of figure this time. I absolutely love immigrant figures. Uh, now, let's not be crazy I don't <laughs> the old immigrant type figures uh, that came to this America of uh, unfortunately the new immigrant figures that are kind of, a lot of them that are coming to this country are not like the old ones that you know but and uh, I do support the border wall so we're just <laughs> we anyway there's a, I just drew this little immigrant woman and I want to do her. And I'm going to carve a little, uh, cut out a little goat and put it behind her as she is uh, walking. This is more of a European type carving that we're going to do. And she is uh, one and a half, one and one half inches wide, okay, and four inches tall. And uh, after I'm through with her, I will put the pattern up uh, on uh, my Facebook if anyone wants to do this figure. Uh, she is four inches tall, so the goat will be a lot smaller, which will be, present a problem for, you know, people that are not used to carving miniatures. Uh, so anyway, we're going to start off with what happens is the head right here it, it has a uh, there is a shawl over her uh, head and then her face is down here and uh, just like this and I'll show you this looks a lot better uh, she has a shawl that comes down over her head uh, just like this and um, then her arms are on the side her arms will protrude out basically like this and um, much much smaller more like this type of situation here and she'll be holding a um, um, bucket in one hand and uh, there'll be a little goat behind her now once again I'm outside so um, you will hear some unusual things going on out here. Okay, now as we look at the figure, um, and by the way, I'm not back in my house yet. I'm still battling with the insurance company for those that are and battling with my lawyer and everything like that. So anyway, we won't get into that right now. Okay, now the first thing I wanna do is separate the head so I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut in here and down and I'll start bringing this down. Uh, of course this is uh, this will come down from the body 
somewhat because the head is of course and I'm uh, coming doing the same thing here where you can see it so much better and we start to take away be very careful we start to take away the wood from this area here. I mean, we start taking it down and we just sort of follow that and be careful. If you get a hold of some wood possibly that is, uh, and I begin removing the wood to make the face. And the scarf that is over her head, it will of course come to a back here. My grandchildren, I don't get to see them much, but it was a joy seeing them. Kentucky is a beautiful state. It's a very poor state, but it's a very beautiful state. And uh, I was able to make it without hitting a deer this time. Last time I went, I hit a deer last Christmas. And uh, tore up my rental car that I had. God spared me from hitting a deer this time. Where my son lives in Sayersville, Kentucky, which is about an hour and a half from Lexington, east of Lexington. Um, they have deer running everywhere up there. In fact, if you're not careful, you'll run over one, even in the town. Very prevalent up there. You really have to watch it, especially at night. Okay, as you can see, I am taking this off back here. I love to carve immigrant people, as I've said. Um, it isn't because of immigration today or anything like that. It's just that I like the, the look of the immigrant people that were once once um, worked this country, and and even other ones that are European that stayed in the Europe countries. It's, they're quite caricature. I mean, character. So I say not caricature, but character. They have a lot of character to carve. Now, as we do this, the shawl will, of course, come to kind of a point back here. So we want to remove all of the stuff that we can to give it that effect or to give it that look. Okay. The actual look of the look of the woman is not really that difficult. Uh, there isn't a lot of detail in the face and the eyes. She will have a basically there's a sh the shawl comes all the way almost basically up into the face from that this far. And then it comes back um, onto the. I'm using a little knife here today. Um, this is a knife someone sent me after Harvey. 
to replenish my knives and stuff. I don't know what brand it is. Very good little knife. Very fine carving knife. Someone sent it to me. It doesn't have any um, it doesn't have any name on it or brand so I'm not sure what it is but I sure like the handle. It might have been handmade. I don't know. Someone might have just made it and sent it to me and I sure appreciate that. People were so kind after Harvey. Um, but we're all doing pretty good down here. Most people some people are back in their houses and a lot of them are not even after over a year um, a lot of devastation down here but people in south carolina all that know that that have gone through uh, the last hurricanes and tropical storms and stuff like that so all right now we're getting um pretty good shape here um now let's go ahead, since we've, we're getting the head sort of shaped up, let's go ahead and move from the head down here to the... Now what she's wearing is a basically just a long gown. It's not a gown, but it's a, a dress. And the shoes come down here, so we want to... We want to kind of take the shoes out a little bit. She's wearing like a long dress, as most of the immigrant women did wear, and more like a farm type woman that worked on a farm. Now I cut this, of course, inch and a half because um, I'm going to um, leave room for the arms that they can come out. And uh, so that naturally we're going to do that. Now the arms are going to kind of come down like here. Just sort of. So let's go ahead and start cutting the arms a little bit. I appreciate everyone that writes to me and uh, asks me questions. Um, if you don't know him yet or not, see we're taking this this arm off right here. Uh, I have a, have a protege of mine who is also teaching carving and he has a wonderful website called Doug Outside and Doug is uh, actually Doug learned he said he learned from me but he didn't learn everything from me I'm you know you you have to have a certain amount of talent so but um, he has a website called Doug Outside, and he's starting to do carving, or he's doing carvings now. He's been carving for about three years, and uh, I recommend his website. I really do, because I am not able as do it, to do as much. And he also has some outdoor stuff that he does, which is very interesting. And he's got a following, and that's good. I knew that one day, other people, which I have encouraged to take over. A lot of the YouTube videos of carving, and a lot of people have, and that's great. Uh, of course, I also recommend Arlene Zoomer, who has a uh, carving website, or a YouTube website, where she carves. Carver's Wood, I think it's Carver's Wood Shop. Arlene is sweet as can be. And... Uh, Okay, so we're getting this uh, arm done. Uh, 
And let's go ahead and get this arm uh, cut out a little bit. It's a beautiful day today. I, it's, it's just almost unbelievable. This is January and we have a beautiful day today. It has not been beautiful for a long time. It's been raining every single day. And I understand that where my son lives in Kentucky, there's a possibility they might have a pretty good snow coming up this weekend, so I don't know. We're just delivering the arms that we have here. And the arms do not go in the pockets. They do not do that. They are uh, they stay outside of the they stay outside of the um, and they have hands, so they do not go in the pockets. There's not a pocket. Uh, this is not what this is. And uh, so we're gonna go back here. We're just going to kind of remove a little bit. Okay, as we look at our piece here, um, we want to take our shoes and we want to cut them down. We don't want them sticking out. We want them down. So be careful in this area because it's it can be very... Uh, can break off stuff real easy here so take very little at a time don't I've always taught don't get in a hurry please don't get in a hurry and a lot of people do and it's not necessary to get in a hurry it isn't necessary at all um, that's how you make mistakes mess up okay Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, it looks like their hands are in their pocket, but that's not what uh, we're going to do here. It does look that way. It sure does. So you continue bringing your shoes down because your shoes will be underneath and like I said be careful don't uh, don't get in a hurry and because when you get out in these areas you want to just take a little bit at a time off so that you can do this. As you see, I go all over the um, the area of uh, the piece as I bring it down to the area that I want. In other words, the dimensions that I want in such a way. Okay, now 
as we come around here, we're going to also cut so the hands will stand out, which means that we must bring this area down here. And let's go over here and do the same thing. Let's take off. Let's take off uh, getting Getting your hands where you can bite them. So you just gradually take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down to where you want it. <laughs> 